Hi everyone, it's Jin, and today I want to talk something that's been making waves in the whole world, ChatGPT. I've been using this magical creature for the past month. Let me tell you, it's been making my life and work a whole lot of easier. In today's video, I want to share how ChatGPT is helping me improve my English speaking and also my expression skills. I found that sometimes it might be easy to express my idea in English. However, when it came to discussing some complicated topics or responding to someone who disagreed with me and I had to convince them of my point of view, I, I often found myself getting tongue-tied. It's like my brain would switch back to my native language and I just couldn't access my English language skills quickly enough. To fix this, I found that practicing back and forth conversations is a super effective. Most importantly, you have to find someone who can really understand what you are talking about and dive deeper into the topic with you. It's like a workout for your brain. Now, I've integrated ChatGPT into my iOS devices, taking over serious duties and making language learning even more fun and interactive. I mean, who needs Siri when you can have ChatGPT as your personal assistant? Now, I know that you, you might be thinking, can ChatGPT really help you improve your language skills? Well, I have experimented many times and the results were pretty impressive. My most interesting discovery is using ChatGPT as an IELTS English mock examiner. But let me tell you, it was a great way to test my English skills and receive feedback. I highly recommend it if you are preparing for a language exam or just want to practice your speaking skills. Let me give you a demo. Hey Siri, wake. How may I help? Please act as an IELTS examiner. I want to practice on an IELTS speaking mock test. And let's speak. Uh, let's skip the part one and start with part two directly, okay? And please choose a topic, and we can start the mock test now. Let's do it. One sec. Still on it. Sure. I can help you with an IELTS speaking practice test. Here is a topic for part two. Describe a time when you had to solve a problem. You will have one minute to prepare your answer, and then you will have up to two minutes to speak. Please begin when you're ready. I like to talk about one such experience where I had to solve a problem when I attempt to build a rocket model with sugar fuel. The project was for a science fair competition and I was eager to create something unique and uh, exciting. And despite encountering several obstacles along the way, I was able to overcome them and create something that worked. One moment. That sounds like an interesting experience. Could you please continue speaking and describe the specific problem that you had to solve while building the rocket model? How did you overcome it and what was the final outcome of your project? Remember to use specific details and examples to support your answer. You still have about one minute left to speak. Sure. At the beginning, I struggled to find the right proportions of sugar and KNO3 nitrate for the fuel mixture. And the mixture was either too weak and the rocket couldn't take off or too strong and it couldn't, uh, it, it would explode on the launch pad. After several failed attempts, I finally found the right balance. It's great to hear that you were able to find the right balance in your fuel mixture after several failed attempts. What did you do to find the right proportions of sugar and potassium nitrate for the fuel mixture? 
Did you seek help from someone or did you conduct your own experiments? Also, could you please tell me about the final outcome of your project? Did your rocket model perform well in the science fair competition? Use specific details and examples to support your answer. You still have about 30 seconds left to speak. Yes, I seeked help from both internet and also some friends who share the same interest in rocket modeling. And I think the, mo the, the rocket model performed pretty well in the competition. It flies almost 350 meters high. Though I didn't win any award from the competition, but I really enjoyed the experience of consistently working on solve the problems. That's great to hear that you sought help from various sources and that your rocket model performed well in the competition. It's also commendable that you enjoyed the experience despite not winning an award. It shows that you value the learning experience and the effort you put into the project. Thank you for sharing your experience with me. This concludes the speaking mock test. Please give me some feedback, like uh, where can I improve? based on my performance in this mock test. As an AI language model, I cannot assess your speaking skills like a human examiner can. However, based on your responses, I can say that you provided detailed information and supported your points with relevant examples and experiences, which is a positive sign. However, to improve your performance, you could try to use more varied vocabulary, pay attention to grammar and pronunciation, and make sure to stay on topic and answer the question directly. It's also helpful to take note of the time limit and manage your time well to be able to fully express your thoughts within the given time frame. Could you please give me one more specific suggestion for this mock test? such as where to expand more vocabulary in the conversation. Still working. Sure, based on your mock test performance, one area where you could expand your vocabulary is by using more specific and descriptive adjectives to paint a clearer picture for the listener. For example, instead of saying the rocket performed pretty well, you could use adjectives like impressive, remarkable, or outstanding to give a more vivid description. Additionally, you could also try incorporating more varied synonyms for words you commonly use to further diversify your vocabulary. Please help me to identify one obvious grammatical error in my answer. One grammatical error in your answer was I want I attempt to build a rocket model with sugar fuel it should be one time. I attempted to build a rocket model with sugar fuel the word one doesn't fit in this sentence and seems to be a typo. For this specific mock test, can I perform at level 6 on the real exam? Based on your performance in this mock test, I would say that your speaking skills are at a solid level, but there is room for improvement. Your vocabulary and grammar are generally strong, and you are able to express yourself clearly and coherently. However, there were some instances where you could have expanded your vocabulary or used more complex sentence structures to showcase your language abilities. To achieve a band 6 score on the IELTS speaking test, you would need to demonstrate a range of vocabulary and use a mix of simple and complex sentence structures. You would also need to show the ability to talk at length about a variety of topics, with only occasional repetition or hesitation. Overall, with some further practice and refinement, it is certainly possible for you to reach a band 6 level on the IELTS speaking test. So, in conclusion, as you can see, this new AI could be a complete game changer. We will explore more on how ChatGPT could change everything on Earth. Thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next video. See you.